Today, we will talk about facultative reinsurance, definition, versus treaty reinsurance. Facultative reinsurance is coverage purchased by a primary insurer to cover a single risk or a block of risks held in the primary insurer's book of business. It is considered to be more of a one-time transactional deal, unlike treaty reinsurance, which is typically part of a long-term arrangement of coverage between two parties. An insurance company enters into a reinsurance contract with a reinsurance company, also known as a seeding company, in order to pass off some of their risk in exchange for a fee. Reinsurance contracts determine whether the reinsurer is able to accept or reject individual risks or a block of risks. Facultative reinsurance allows the reinsurance company to review individual risks and determine whether to accept or reject them. Treaty reinsurance is a broad agreement covering some portion of a particular class, while facultative reinsurance contracts are much more focused in nature. They cover individual underlying policies and are written on a policy-specific basis. Facultative reinsurance agreements often cover catastrophic or unusual risk exposures. Facultative reinsurance gives the insurer more security for its equity and solvency and more stability when unusual or major events occur. It also allows the insurer to cover a larger volume of risks without excessively raising the costs of covering their solvency margins. Suppose a standard insurance provider issues a policy on major commercial real estate for $35 million, but the original insurer believes it cannot afford to pay out more than $25 million. The insurer looks for facultative reinsurance and tries the market until it gets takers for the remaining $10 million, potentially getting pieces of the $10 million from different reinsurers. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Facultative reinsurance is coverage purchased by a primary insurer to cover a single risk or a block of risks held in the primary insurer's book of business. 2. Facultative reinsurance allows the reinsurance company to review individual risks and determine whether to accept or reject them and so are more focused in nature than treaty reinsurance. 3. By covering itself against a single or block of risks, Reinsurance gives the insurer more security for its equity and solvency and more stability when unusual or major events occur. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.